Okay, here we go. So we start at the baseline underneath the pinky. Even though I have so much self-doubt, so much fear that I have nothing to say of value. Right now, I love myself. And I accept where I am in my journey. Even though I can get mentally so convoluted about what my contribution is, Right now, I'm just sitting in self-love and total self-acceptance. Even though I waste time and energy worrying that I've got nothing to offer, Right now, I accept that about myself, my journey. And I just declare that I love myself. So we go to the crown. Oh, I'm so sick of the self-doubting voice in my head. inner eyebrow. I have stuff I really care about and I stop myself from just putting it out into the world. Outer eye. I can even really connect with the excitement of what I want to offer out. And then the brakes go on and I tell myself I really don't have anything of worth. Under the eye. I sometimes honestly think I've got zero to add to the conversation. Under the nose. Or I actually believe that anything I put out ends up just sounding stuffy, uninteresting, devoid of real substance or value. Chin point. Just hearing me, hearing myself say this out loud right now. I do hear what an unkind assessment it is. Under the clavicle. And I really hate that a part of me just thinks it's all true. Side of the ribs under the arm. <clears throat> and I'm really just so sick of how this mental back and forth feels. It's painful. It keeps me stuck. Or sometimes I move and create something, but then I don't finish it or I don't put it out to anyone else's eyes or ears. Okay, back to the crown. Now we're going to reach for better feeling thoughts. Right now, I simply honor my own journey.
inner eyebrow. Just between me and me, I honor the road I've walked and its value. Outer eye. I have followed the yellow brick road to find my courage and my wisdom. And to keep growing myself. Under the eye, I have really shown up. I've shown up for others. I've shown up for my own growth process. Under the nose, right now I give myself credit for that. Right now I just scan through some of my former selves who just kept showing up. Thank you for helping me get to where I am now. Chin point. I would like to stop feeling that my work or my life itself is somehow a, a test to prove myself, to prove my worth. to prove the value of my contribution. <clears throat> Under the clavicle. What if I just began with, I'm worthy because I'm here? I have something to contribute because here I am. side of the ribs. And I know some specific stuff I have to contribute. Knowledge I have. Processes and tools I've got. Stories that tell my experience of discovery and growth. a way of just being with others and being there for them that opens their hearts and allows them to drop down. Crown. Right now I honor what I have to give. Inner eyebrow, I'd really like to make it less about me. I'm not the doer anyway. Outer eye, I'm so aware of the force that comes through me, that moves through me. the inspiration and intuition that comes to me and through me. And under the eye. I just want to get better at opening the channel. Getting out of the way. under the nose, trusting that that force wants to move through me, like breath wants to move through me, like love wants to move through me.
chin point. I would like to think way more often in terms of dancing with consciousness. Under the clavicle. There is nothing to prove when I'm just in a dance with consciousness. And enjoying the dance. Appreciating the dance. Loving the dance. Side of the ribs. I prefer enjoying thinking about what I'm passionate about or fascinated by. than thinking about how others are gonna receive my articulation of that. Let's go to the crown and say that again in another way. What I really like is just steeping in what fascinates me. What wakes me up. What gets me excited about life as a human being and how things work. For my and our optimal well being. Inner eyebrow. And I don't like sitting around wondering if an expression of that that comes through me has any value or not. And just breathe into any sensation in your body as you do this. Breathe in the silent moments. outer eye. Right now, I see that questioning as the royal waste of time that it is. The royal waste of my energy and life force. Under the eye. And really, that's the only obstacle to my living into the gifts that are mine. And discovering them. And amplifying them. Under the nose. And blessing myself with them. Or another way to say that, receiving the blessings of those gifts that come to me and through me. Chin point and allowing those gifts to bless others. Just allowing it. under the clavicle, not forcing it, not requiring it, not predicting it, not assessing it, not even giving it any thought. Side of the ribs. There is nothing about my dance with consciousness that needs to be evaluated. I would like to catch myself in unnecessary evaluation more quickly. 
and interrupt it. Crown. I love dancing with consciousness. Inner eyebrow. Knowing my body and caring for it and responding to sensations in it. That's part of my dance with consciousness. Outer eye, being aware of my thoughts is part of my dance with consciousness. Interrupting the ones that take me down. Under the eye. Part of my dance with consciousness is reaching for thoughts that stimulate me. Bolster me. Inspire me. Soothe me. Point me toward what I have no resistance about. Under the nose. Part of my dance with consciousness is any encounter with any face of God. That face could look like a tree. Or a dog. Any human being. I get to dance with consciousness all the time. Ocean point, I dance with the ocean. It's amazing movements and power and sounds and smells. Under the clavicle, I dance with the sky. I dance with music. I dance with food and flavors. Side of the ribs. And I just want writing to feel like a dance with consciousness because it is. And for writing, you can fill in any activity, conversation, teaching, driving, anything. No more trying to prove myself. I release that and commit to catching myself in it to interrupt it. Crown point. Wherever I catch myself in doubt or questioning or assessing or judging or predicting or getting into others' business about what they're gonna think about it. And the universe's business because outcomes aren't my business. I'm gonna keep reaching for my dance with consciousness, which always happens right now. And I'm the only one who sets the tone of it.
I need nothing from anybody else to do my dance. Because I am worthy. I am free. I'm on a valid journey, a beautiful journey, a fascinating journey. And I treasure what I get to do now and now and now. Now drop your hands down. I like to cup one inside another, palms up. And then just drop everything down, except <clears throat> whatever muscles you need to be in the position you're in. Otherwise, give everything to gravity so that you can just let the reverberations of the tapping move through you. Connect to the felt sense of the breath and how it might have changed over the course of the tapping. And when you're ready, just gently bring yourself back out. <clears throat>